One minute, 40 seconds. SCS launch enabled. 137. T minus 90 seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and Eastern Range are go for launch. One minute, 20 seconds. OCU's arm. FCS count started. T minus one minute. Engine start box go. Rock, report range status. Range green. 50 seconds. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. 30 seconds. Status check. Go Delta. Go NROL 68. Fifteen seconds. Rofi ignition. Ten. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. We have ignition. Three. Two, one, and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying NROL 68 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitch over maneuver. Now 25 seconds into flight, the vehicle performance looks phenomenal. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kessler hey, providing now. launch vehicle ascent data. Core booster has now reached the desired partial thrust level. Performance continues to look good. We are now five miles in altitude, 5.8 miles downrange distance. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Back Warner, Delta IV Heavy is now supersonic. Now at 110 seconds into flight, we are now 14 miles in altitude, 12 miles downrange distance. The second stage RCS system pressurization valve has fired and the RCS is now pressurizing the flight levels. has now gone to close the guidance. We have three minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. That's for rocket, which now weighs now weighs one half of what it did at liftoff, burning propellant at a rate of almost five thousand pounds per second.
We are now 210 seconds into flight. We have 30 minutes remaining until the port and starboard booster engines cut off. Vehicle performance continues to look good with the port and starboard engines burning at the maximum power level and the core R68 burning at the partial thrust level. Port and starboard boosters are now throttling down. The engine response looks good. Port and starboard cutoff, and we've had separation of the two side boosters. Core booster is now throttling back up, and the maximum power level has been achieved. The upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill-down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. One minute remains in the booster phase of flight. Upper stage fuel system has now begun the boost phase chill-down sequence. We're now 300 seconds into flight, flying at an altitude of 70 miles, downrange distance of 370 miles. Delta IV core vehicle booster performance continues to look good. The R68 is now throttling down. And Pico. And we've had stage one, two separation and ignition on the RL10. Correction. Deployment of the nets. And now ignition on the RL10 for the first burn. Upper stage performance looks good at this time. We have the indication of payload fairing separation. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus 6 minutes and 45 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Rob Kesselman confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight and all systems continue to operate nominally. At this time, we're going to end our live coverage. For more information about the Delta IV Heavy, please visit ULALaunch.com. I'm Andrea Lindhoff, and thank you so much for joining me today. Before we sign off, Let's take one more look at that beautiful launch of the Delta IV Heavy carrying NROL 68. 15 seconds. Roll for ignition. 10. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have ignition. 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy Rocket, carrying NROL 68 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitch over maneuver. Now, 25 seconds into flight, vehicle performance looks nominal.
Rob Kessler, providing launch vehicle ascent data.